Okay guys, so ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon is yung mga subjects in chemical engineering course. Dahil may mga high school students planning to take chemical engineering na very curious sila kung ano ba yung mga subjects na pag-aaralan sa chemical engineering. So, nagtatanong din sila sa amin kung ano ba yung mga recommended books namin uh, once they took the course. So, naipakita na namin yan doon sa previous uh, video natin. No? So, ngayon, ipapakita naman natin ngayon ano ba yung mga subjects na pag-aaralan once na nag-enroll ka sa chemical engineering. So, hindi na natin patatagaling pa. Let us dive in to our discussion. Before we proceed sa ating featured video, please make sure that you are subscribed sa ating YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga ipopost naming mga video. Like and share our Facebook page and please join our growing community sa engineers.org. Well, the best way to check kung ano ba yung mga subjects na pag-aaralan sa chemical engineering course is to check the website of the school that you intend to enroll. And then from their respective website, check the curriculum for chemical engineering course. Well, this is because mayroong mga pagkakaiba yung different schools kung paano nila in-offer yung chemical engineering course. But of course, on this presentation, uh, we will give you some examples to, uh, to provide an idea to incoming students. Well, we cannot cover the curriculum for all schools in the Philippines no, na nag-offer ng chemical engineering. But then, we will just choose one example uh, para may pakita natin kung ano ba yung mga subjects uh, na pinag-aaralan in every year and semester. No? And as you go along, you will see some subjects na kung saan uh, you will wonder ano ba yung magandang book na uh, basahin uh, in relation sa subject na yon. So, we also advise you to check our video uh, showing our recommended books for chemical engineering. No? Well, okay guys, so this is our first example. So, this is the chemical engineering course uh, curriculum in De La Salle. So, you can check this on their website, no? So, in dlsu.edu.ph. So, hindi na natin siya isa-isahin, no? Ipapakita lang natin sa inyo na available siya in their website, no? So, you can just check it out uh, para magkaroon kayo ng idea ano ba yung mga subjects na pag-aaralan in De La Salle University. And next example is here from Adamson University. So, this is also available in their website, adamson.edu.ph. No? So, you can just check the curriculum for chemical engineering course in Adamson University. And then, another example is this uh, curriculum for chemical engineering from UP Los Baños. So, you can check this on their website, dche.ceat.uplb dot edu dot ph no? so may kita ninyo dito yung kanilang curriculum so you can just click on different subjects here Eastern Visaya State University you can check it in their website so ito yung kanilang curriculum for chemical engineering no so you can also check it on their website evsu.edu.ph so you can check their curriculum and have an idea kung ano ba yung mga subjects na pag-aaralan once you enroll in chemical engineering sa Eastern Visaya State University. Well, next is University of Santo Tomas. So, you can check on their website, ust.edu.ph and see the curriculum for chemical engineering course. So, so ito yung kanilang format, no? So, you can just click, for example, here in first year, three terms. So, malalabas na dyan yung mga subjects na pag-aaralan ninyo. Okay? And then, you have University of the Philippines, Diliman, Department of Chemical Engineering. You can check this on their website, dche.coe.upd.edu.ph. Okay? So, you can find here yung... Uh, program nila, no? yung courses offered nila for chemical engineering. So, you can just check these websites and as I said earlier, 
hindi natin mako-cover lahat ng universities or schools yung para may pakita yung uh, kanilang curriculum for chemical engineering. But you can check the website of the school kung saan interested ka na mag-enroll ng chemical engineering. So let us see some example, no? So at this point, kukuha lang tayo ng example, no? Para mahimay natin yung mga subjects na pag-aaralan in every semester. So let's see from this one for first year per semester. Well, this is uh, from Adamson University, no? But they are a Catholic school, so you will see some minor subjects here uh, na kung saan uh, related in Catholic teachings, no? For example, meron sila ditong searching for God in uh, the world today, no? So, may mga ganyang subject ang makikita rito because Adamson University is a Catholic school. So, ilan sa mga pag-aaralan natin dito is yung Art Appreciation, Chemical Engineering Orientation, NSTP 1. Physical Education 1, Understanding the Self, uh, chemistry for chemical engineers lab and lecture no at this point magi-start na kayo mag-aral ng chemistry and yung calculus 1 so ang book na usually nakikita kong ginagamit sa mga university ngayon is yung uh, calculus with analytic geometry by Turman S Peterson but of course your school may use other references no and also for chemistry they were using general chemistry, principles, and modern application by Petrucci. Maraming pwedeng gamitin na books, but these two is probably uh, will be useful to you. Hindi man ito yung gawing reference ng professor mo, uh, you can use this as a reference, as a supplement para uh, mas mapag-aralan nyo na mabuti yung subject nyo. Now, in second semester, uh, you have calculus 2, so gagamitin uli natin itong book na to, probably. And analytical chemistry lecture and analytical chemistry lab. So, there are many books available, but maybe you will find useful itong uh, book ni Skug, Wessenholler. No? And then, you will be studying physics. No? So, I believe most of the schools are using the University Physics by Young and Friedman, but there are too many books about physics available no so uh, your professor might be using other references and then on your second year first semester magsisimula na kayo mag-aral ng organic chemistry so it depends pa rin sa professor kung anong reference ang gagamitin niya dahil maraming uh, available references for organic chemistry and then you have differential equations no so you might be using elementary differential equation by Kell. So, uh, this will be useful book kapag uh, nag-aaral na kayo ng differential equations. Then, you have engineering mechanics. Well, most probably you will be using uh, the engineering mechanics by Ferdinand Singer. Uh, but, there are too many books available about engineering mechanics as well as yung differential equations. No? So, you can search other books. So, hindi naman siya kawalan kung babasahin din ninyo yung ibang books kasi the more reference na pwede nyo gamitin the better no and then you'll start discussing about uh, chemical engineering calculations well most probably you'll be using David Himmel Blues uh, basic principles and calculations in chemical engineering meron pang mga ibang books na pwedeng gamitin so you can check our video about sa mga recommended books namin no? so you can see other books about chemical engineering calculation from that video okay and then in second year second semester uh, we have here strength of materials so you might be using again the book written by Pytel and Singer and then organic chemistry and physical chemistry so Ito, maaring ito yung gamitin ninyo, yung Fundamentals of Physical Chemistry by Maron and Lando. Or, you might be using the Physical Chemistry book by Atkins. So, again, you can watch our video about our recommended books. And then, you have now here Momentum Transfer. So, uh, you could use um, Unit Operations books or Transport Process and Separation Process Principles book. Okay? And you have now here Advanced Engineering Mathematics. So, isa na yan sa sisimula ninyong pag-aralan dito sa second year, second semester. Now, in third year, first semester, 
uh, pag-aaralan na ninyo yung chemical engineering thermodynamics. So, ang gagamitin yung book dito for sure is yung sinulat ni Smith and Vaness. And then, you'll have environmental science and engineering. And again, physical chemistry. Di pa tayo tapos dyan. And then, you have heat and mass transfer. So, pwede nyo gamitin yung iba't ibang unit operation books tulad nitong book ni Makibin Smith. And also, you can use this book by Christigen Coplis, no? So, third year, second semester, sisimulan na ninyong pag-aralan yung chemical reaction engineering lecture and lab. So, usually, ang book na ginagamit dyan is itong sinulat ni Octave Liebenspiel. But there are other books na pwede ninyong gawing reference. So, your professor might be using other references as well. Then, separation processes, uh, katulad nung pinakita natin kanina. Uh, yung sinulat ni Gene Coplis or other unit operations book. And then you have uh, chemical process industries. So, ang gagamitin ninyo dyan is itong Shreve's chemical process industries book. And then you have other subjects here like yung engineering economy and particle technology. And then here in Adamson University, makikita ninyo sa kanilang curriculum. Meron silang third year summer, no? So, meron sila ditong chemical engineering immersion Well, dito kayo ilulubog in chemical engineering course. Just kidding. In fourth year per semester, uh, you will be studying chemical engineering design. No? So, uh, you'll be using this Peters and Timmerhaus book. Okay, so you have other subjects here like process safety, chemical engineering laws and ethics, and engineering management, and biochemical engineering. Well, these are basically the subjects in fourth year per semester. And then on fourth year, second semester, you have process dynamics and control, and technopreneur, industrial waste management and control, plant inspections and seminars, track specialization, course integration, chemical engineering design, lecture, and lab. Well, that's it for now, guys. So... Please support our YouTube channel and register to our website, www.engineers.org.